outset, I would like to congratulate the organizers for organizing a very unique seminar on religious views on organ donation after brain death. I must make a special mention of the efforts of Dr. Istia Kamat, my very good friend. And his colleagues, Limesh and Ganesh, who have worked day and night to organize this. Currently, believe it or not, in our country, there are over 3 lakh people waiting for an organ transplant. Half of them for the kidney, rest for the liver, heart, so on and so forth. And very, very unfortunately, less than 3% of them get the organs. So the 97% or more than 95% of them have an agonizing, painful death. And this has to change and that's why we are meeting here today to at least make a lasting beginning to change this. <laughs> we are honored to have you, sir. Former Justice of the Supreme Court, Lokayukta, additional Solicitor General of India. Country. <laughs> also my college mate and a very, very eminent cardiac surgeon. A very warm welcome to you, Devi. We have His Grace, the eminent Archbishop. We welcome Sri 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 Doctor. And many of the TV panels discussing COVID in this state and the country. Next week, a very warm welcome to Parma. And we are over 25 years old in Geo. We have sensitized more than 100 million people on our donation. What we find is that it's not religion which is you know, a barrier to our donation, as Dr. Blal said. All religions believe in our relation, an act of goodness. It is the cultural reservations of people and myths which stop them from donating. We do have problems sometimes because some, we get sometimes mixed views coming out in the society from the religious leaders. But if you read any religious scripture, the act of giving is the highest act a human being can perform. It's a testament of humanity, the act of giving. When we die, we give away everything. We give away clothes and so on, everything. Every religion does that. Organ donation is just giving something more, giving life. But speaking about humanism, I always say, you become a human being only if you acquire humanism and show it to the society. In Karnataka, words have written, say, I say it in few words in Kannada, then I'll translate it. Become what you want to become in life, but become a human being first. I have added something of my own to that. Jeevana Patadali Manaviyatiyana Alavadis Kondu Saiwaga Manavanagi Satre Adekimel Patanta Gaurava Yavudu Even if you are not born a human being, the journey of your life, if you acquire humanism and die as a human being, there is no better glory than that. Now the basic thing requirement in acquiring humanism is your capacity your desire to donate organs. That's the most important thing. Who else can serve this purpose more than the holy personalities sitting here? 
because their words are accepted by the people straight away as against the words of people like me or maybe sometimes politicians also. Ladies and gentlemen, just imagine you donate an organ to a year old child and that child lives for a long period thereafter and you very often you need to see that also. What's the pleasure that you get? I have seen the sufferings of the people because of maladministration in the country. I have also seen how happy the families of the people who get the organs and survive. Even if the person is dead, his relatives will have. I for one definitely find donation of an organ is much more, much more, much more holier than donating any amount of earthly things. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am not an expert in organ donation. There are people who are here to speak about it, but I have seen lack of humanism from close quarters. And that's exactly the object of this seminar, and everyone here, not only through yourself, but through your friends and family, also encourage organ donation so that those who have suffered for failure of organs can live a little longer and happier. Their good wishes will always be with you all. Thank you. <laughs> activity. This is basically about what religion says about organ donation after brain death. Right now what is happening, uh, there are a lot of patients waiting for organs, they don't have donors and we lose them. In fact, there is a study which says about 5 lakh patients, they, we lose them just because we don't have organs on time. One of the reasons why organ donation after brain death in our country is not doing well is mainly there are many reasons why it is not doing well one of the main reason is religious belief no uh, kind of a uh, uh, lot of fellows feel that it is against the religion one sincere effort from our side that is NAC and SOTO to ask the religious leaders what actually religion says about organ donation after brain death so we need your help in this uh, propagation of this message in the community. Thank you.